bright glow. I kind of decided last minute that I wanted to stream this game for a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. Um, this game, I think it came out today. Uh, it's called Backbone. Uh, it's a, a demo for a game. Uh, as I understand, it's a point and click adventure game with some RPG elements. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, I played like five minutes and then I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm, I'm going to stream this game. I'm kind of feeling it. So. That's what we're going to do real quick. I'm just going to hop into a new game. Uh, so you're playing a raccoon detective is pretty much all I know about this game so far. Uh, it is not voice acted, so I'm going to be doing all the lines. Just one of the reasons I wanted to play the game, because I thought that, um, thought that that might be fun. Sorry I missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. So yeah, it's a, it's a side scroller as well, which is kind of interesting. And it's not, I say point and click, but you're not really point and clicking. That's just the closest thing I could think of. Uh, but you can kind of like inspect stuff with the EQ. Insurance frauds, lost cars, estranged lovers. Probably get rid of some of these old case files eventually. Pick up your trash. John D. Insurance fraud. Yeah, it's just, it's, I mean, this is a demo, but uh, like the five seconds that I played felt very polished. This damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit up Frankie next time I'm in Fustdale. And whenever I have cash. So never. Call mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. Game has like this weird sort of humor that I, I'm kind of into. I'm really not a big point and click guy though. Leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Hard to get tired of this view. Like lots of stuff. And dishes away. I'll watch these later. Probably not. Toilet. The Great Apes. The Great Story. It's a well toilet read. Better leave it here. Also, devs, if for whatever reason you sneak into the chat room, I will I will voice act this game for essentially free. You can tell I'm great at it. I think, I don't know how this, I think when we place this, it like actually, from my recollection. I wasn't sure if it was on time. Everything knows its proper place. Yeah. That must be Miss Green. The game's very atmospheric as well. Um, so we've got this, she's like an otter lady. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotor. We spoke on the phone. Uh, so my options are, I gather you have a case for me, Miss Green. At your service, Miss Green. Hope you had a pleasant day. Miss Green, can I help you? You were vague when we spoke before. Um, sure, you were vague when we spoke before. Please, uh, just Odette is fine. I'd rather be discreet. With this matter, that's all. Noted. What are we dealing with? I'm not going to read all of these options. I'm just going to read the one I go with. So, the information I gather from clients is strictly confidential. I assure you. It's always pleasant to deal with a professional. Is there any particular reason for your concern? Nothing of importance, really. All right, then. Let's move on. How can I help you today? I, um... Well, I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. About my husband, you see. Do you, sus the, uh, do you suspect he's cheating? Yes, I'm pretty sure. He's been acting so strange lately, and every time I try to talk to him, he gets... But no matter. 
I just need proof that I'll hold up in court. Court? Are you filing for a divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Uh, I don't care about the children. One last thing. Let's talk case details. I'll need a picture and some information about his routine. Of course. Anything you need. What would you like to know? Oh, dramatic music. Um, where can I find him, usually? Well, supposedly he goes to work and then comes home, but I know sometimes he goes somewhere else after work, occasionally before. Now it's become more frequent. Hold up. How do you know he goes somewhere else after work? He hasn't been hiding well. Behavior is all abnormal. He gets home late, misses work, lies, and smells funny. What's the funny smell? Like perfume, not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something else I can't pinpoint. But it's poignant. Some kind of herbal stink. How do you know he's been missing? Missing work. Apes. I feel so... Oh, wrong voice. Apes. I feel so ashamed. He's going to get terminated if he continues like this. I've gotten calls. First they wondered if he was homesick. I lied for him a couple of times too. Apes. That's a weird expletive. I'm, there was that ape book too. I don't know what... Apes must be important in this animal world, I guess. Um, what time does he get home when he's late? Way past hours. Unreasonably so, and drunk. One time I stayed up and asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? I don't really think that's relevant, Mr. Rotor. I'd rather move on. Um, mm. Odette, personal details often make or break a case. I can't see how irrelevant information about our marriage would help. The affair is the only relevant matter, and that's all you need to know about. Uh, mm. I guess I'll drop it. Well, there's a reason you're hiring professional. Thanks for the reminder. I'm not hiring a professional to pick and prod at my personal affairs like some sort of vulture. I'm hiring a professional to follow my husband after work and take some incriminating pictures I can show a divorce mediator. Let's talk case details. I'll need a picture and information about his routine. Very. Put this line early. Um, uh, what does he look like? Here's a, here's a photo. He's an otter, of course, a bit shorter than you and kind of chunky. He wears glasses, the square kind. His wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Have you met any of his friends? Weird question. I haven't met them, but he mentions some guys from time to time. Sometimes he hangs out with them after work. What's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez for short. Stupid nickname. Yes. Um, where does he work? At the Wolf Bank. On Granville. I can write the address down for you. The Wolf Bank. Anyway, I'd be able to pick him out from a crowd. Well, I lay his clothes out for him every morning. He is to wear a suit for work. Picked out his green tie and hat for him today. That's all I need. Now, the awkward part. Payment. I can give you 150 ni 100 now and 50 when you're done. Would that be enough? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses during the investigation. I've got a lot riding on this. I only get one shot. Funds are limited, you know. What assurance can you make that you're the right man for the job? I'd bet my tail you're here because someone recommended me. You're not wrong. But there's just one case I know you've helped sort. A weird sentence. But there's just one case I know you've helped sort. Are there any others? That's confidential. That's not very reassuring. I'm good at what I do, Odette. If I wasn't, I wouldn't be allowed to practice. I hope so. It's very important you don't get caught, do you understand? Of course. I'll get right on it, Odette. Talk soon. She's gone. All right, so now we get to go out, I suppose. I have to access detective menu. Okay. 
Ooh, inventory. Jeremy Green's photo. Picture of Odette's husband. Oh, I'll read it in his voice. A picture of Odette's husband. Doesn't really strike you as a, like a sleaze and skirt chaser. Doesn't seem handsome enough. Maybe he's funny. I see, I like the writing. I don't know, something about the character feels good. Reminder to call mom. It's not difficult to remember. Just difficult to stop procrastinating. Can you, is there a phone? I, I can do it. Uh, I think I already read some of this. So yeah, she wants, um, works nine to seven. Okay. Objectives. Cool. Yeah, you can't call mom. Man, it, this game sucks. I can't call mom. I'm already over it. I like that loading screen too, the cigarettes. Ooh, this is, yeah, neon. So you got like a rat dude. What's this guy, a dog? Grainville. Smell, or Grandville. Smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. He's a squirrel? I suppose. Back to this hip squirrel guy. Hey, what's up, old man? Shove a photo in his face. Sure, take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man, sorry. Were you some kind of pervert? No. What are you doing here? <laughs> Just hanging? What are you doing? <laughs> this is stupid. Um, you could say I'm hanging too. From my hanging to yours, peace, bro. Goodbye then. Okay, unhelpful. Furman and Sons is this called. Oh, he's he's got stuff to say about it. Lori's office. Furman, one slick, silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. And I go crazy and kill someone. I hope I can afford him. Mountain lions as well. Got a bunch of movie posters. Oh, okay. Sis in Maine. That's great. Got, I can't read it. It's a Metropolis pun poster, but I don't know what it, it says. Metro something. I'm sure all of these posters are references. I don't get them all though. What's he saying? The Great Apes. The Great Story. Documentary. A story of order. A story of courage. A story of justice. This has been running for a year now. Oh, here, here's more. Johnny and John don't drive. The day I bought a bike, Sis in Maine. Talk to this guy, Anatoly. Oh, come on, there we go. Uh, I'm guessing this guy's supposed to be Russian. Hey, my man, where to? Anatoly, it's me, Howard. How's your stroll on the kids? Ah, Mr. Howie, come here, give me a hug. Essie and I are good, good. We got a second lad coming soon. Second. Wow, you guys are lucky. We are, we are. It's a big one. Essie is as round as a beach ball. So I tell her, Woman, you aren't getting any bigger, and I won't fit you into the trunk of a car. Ah, <laughs> that's a mean thing to say. Uh, great, can you answer a couple of my questions first? Rude. What do you want? I'm looking for another named Jez. Works out of Wolfbank. Have you seen him recently? Psst, I don't know. By looking at that bar down the street? Have you seen him there? Now, Mr. Harry, would you let me lurk? I'm just going off my clients. I wonder what would have happened if I had, like, tried being more friendly. Can I talk to him again? No. Hmm. Should have asked about his kid. Vogue. They did a great job restoring Vogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Dr. Cyclops. Eden Simmons at Ike. Eden Simmons is the right. Oh, Eden Simmons is the rising jazz star. See her tonight only at Bike Club. Neat. I should check this out when I should I check this out once I'm done with the case? Here's the Wolf Bank. Wolf Bank. This is where Green works. Bank employee. 
Oh, is that, is that a cop? Or just a security guy, maybe. Yeah? Uh, you folks work at the Wolf Bank, right? Yeah? Why? Um, is Jez around? And, uh, who are you? Uh, oh, so you know him. Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. Well, uh, say hi to Derek here because you two are probably not going to see your money again. Um, I'll try to find the asshole. Have you seen him today? Yeah, but the wimp ass left early. He's scared Derek's going to split his wig. Yeah. Something happened at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Where do you think he headed after work? What say you, boys? Home to his nagging bitch of a wife? The gutter? Where he belongs? Only apes know. Could he be with someone now? Girlfriend? You reckon harlots are sort of girlfriends? Then sure. Could be one of them for all I know. Guy cat? Looks like it. Or maybe he's a mountain lion. Did you spend time with him outside work? Yeah, we used to have a bla blast at the bite every Thursday. Not funny anymore, though. The bite? Could he be there now? He is. Be sure to let him know he's as good as dead. Good luck, Wreck. Your thing. Thanks for your help. Quick sip. Um, this, this guy's not well liked. Dish shrooms veggies. What the fuck is that? It's like a like a like a seal maybe. I don't know. It's got like his hat on though. Like foxes in here. The bite. The bears. <laughs> the bouncer's a bear. This game's great. Hmm. Might not quite fit in with this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. What does that mean? No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. I'm guessing loons are money. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Get me a proposal invitation. Give me a personal invitation signed by the great apes and I'll let you in. Deal? Um. Sure. Bye. I'm wrong. So. Okay. Can I get inside? Still no. Don't ask again. Okay. Well. Down the alley, maybe. Can, oh, crouch. So am I supposed to just like sneak? Fourteen ninety nine for a trim. What man mad would pay something that you could do at home with a pair of scissors? Shoot, that's Downey right there in the police booth. Lit my brains out if he sees me. Okay, so. uh... I guess we're supposed to go down this alley. Oh, uh, uh... Larry. Howard? Well, I'll be damned. Is that you? Larry? It's me! It's been so too long. What's going on, old man? I'm... Actually, a dad busy right now. Um, actually, no. Same old, can't complain. What's going on with you? I'm happy for you. My gig kind of went downhill since then. So, you live here now? Live? Have you seen the tough crowd here? <laughs> I live at the bridge now. It's not as bad as it sounds, I guess. Shit. How? When did that happen? Right now, places to crash. What are you doing these days? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What do you do? 
awful things to his pregnant wife who is now struggling to get a divorce. <laughs> it feels... Mm, uh, no. Nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. Eh, like they all do. What's he like? He's about my height. Oh, I have a photo. I haven't seen him, sorry. Hope you find him. Uh, you always know what to do with guys like this. Come back anytime. I'm here often and I hear people talk. Thanks, I'll catch you later. Bye. Man, that jazz is good. Art is our only solver from... Oh, our only salvation from the horror of existence. Wow, that's, this is dark. My fleas. Ugh. Lance are on the intercom. So. Maybe I'm supposed to try to sneak in behind the guy? No way. No. Um, I'm guessing I have to sneak by this dude. Is it Honor? Old Honor, still tending to a shop like always. He used to give me free candy when I was a kid. I should go say hi before he gets driven out by some supermarket chain. Maybe next time. Kenzie's and Sons. Boxy Burger. Garbage pen. Let's see, socks, takeaway boxes, cigs. Aha, a ticket to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. I just took a, okay. Bow, looks like a rabbit. Or a bunny, Father bunny, obviously. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Sure, do. For a half loon, you can read them all with your eye on eyeballs. All right, there you go. What's the headline today? Front page. Today's Great Ape Parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Thanks, man. Do you wrap? No. How's business, anyway? Well, you know me. People want their damn news for free, and damn hawkers don't help any. Granville's getting full of them, and the force don't even care. Why don't the cops care? Hawkers are small fish. Not worth the effort unless they're right under the cops' noses. You know... There's a police booth just down Granville. I've tried reporting them before. By the time an officer gets here, the hawkers are smoke. And it's bad for business? It's illegal. The city won't give you a sales permit if you don't have a shop. No permit means you're probably skipping income allowance. Income allowance. Interesting. Um, what are hawkers anyways? You know, peddlers. They haul their rickety, improvised stands around and collect all the profits with nary a permit. Why do they bother you so much? Well, hawkers don't worry about bills or allowance, you see. They can afford to sell cheap, undercut honest businessmen like myself. Gotcha. I better go then. I bet my tail that damn rodent with the seeds will be arriving any minute now. Oh, cheer up, Bo. You've got at least one loyal customer. How well, about you buy something then? I got nibbles, fizzy drinks. Actually, I just remembered. I gotta run. I'll, I'll try to come by later, though. Our oh, loyal customer, my ass. Get out of here. Well, excuse me. Bye, Bo. Fuck you, Bo. So I guess now I can get in. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot about the cop. <laughs> hey, I'm in a hurry. Talk later. What? You don't have anything? No. What's this guy? Uh, maybe I like a husky dog. Um, do like um, what? You don't have anything to do, or did you finally find a job? I have my own PA agency, Downey. What the hell? Blah blah blah. If you only cut the bullshit and come back onto the force, we can arrange that. Just ask your poor mama. Jeez. 
thanks for looking out for me, man. But I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. You go now. Call your mom. It will. Bye. Okay, so. Former cop standard PI thing. Um, okay, so now we can get in. Oh, what? I have the ticket right here. What's this? Hang on. <clears throat> What's this? Ah, ah, ah. You're a funny little fella. So, can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster. So no. But thanks for a good laugh. Want to hear another joke? Don't test my patience. Bear good. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you later. So, that didn't work. Um, got Larry. Fight Spouncer. I show him during your opportunity and we have a good laugh at it. <laughs> like we could become fast friends. Howard and Bouncy, very best buds right now. <laughs> Granville. I want to read this. Hold on. I showed my dirty tick garbage ticket to the bouncer and we had a good laugh about it. I feel like we could become fast friends. Howard and Bouncy, very best buds, running around Granville, bouncing off thugs, solving mysteries. But what will they find? Raccoon and bear, but buds, best of their kind. If only they would let me in. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I could talk. No. Oh, no. Okay. No. Hmm. Maybe if I just keep going to the right. I hit the end, though. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. No. No. Did I just like fuck up? Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora, who then proceeded to puke out his not nearly digested tuna burger in my coat. Ah, the memories this place brings. Ask him for help? No. I guess I'll try to the alley one more time and I'll talk to him again, I guess. Ah, maybe maybe Larry will help me out. I gotta lead, but Bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. Really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. Did you guys an otter? We never thought to look in there. Any ideas how I could get in? You're in luck. They're my neighbors. Let's see. They use this alley door for deliveries. Or you can ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Tell me about Johnny. Real kid with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny sell? As far as I can tell, your typical, like, hype, catnip, and shatterfang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out with something called monkey butt. I'm sorry. That's a, that's a bad name for a drug. Monkey monkey butt. Who comes up with these? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. I agree, Larry. I agree. Um, monkey butt. Yeah, words. This new thing's the shit. Perhaps a bit less figurative than one might wish. Thank you, thing. Is it? Oh. Does it have kind of a herbal stink? I've had no first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. Um, and what do you mean Johnny's chummy with the bite? 
He's friendly with all the staff, and I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. Um, maybe Johnny's got some sort of partnership or business with the bite. Could be. What are your working theories? It's gotta be mutually beneficial somehow. You might be onto something. Not sure. You think this Johnny guy would help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. Bet my rings he's easier to persuade than the bouncer. Tell me more about Johnny. What's he like? What's he like? I don't know him very well. He's young and likes fur gel. Alright. I think the information I've milked out of you should be enough info to get me into the bite. Thanks, man. You got it, Howard. It's no trouble. Welcome distraction, really. In fact, if you want to know more about the bite, all you got to do is ask. Actually, that sounds like it could come in handy. What have you got? Where to start? I could talk about the kind of place it is, what people do there, some rumors I've heard about the ownership. What do you want to hear? So the place is fairly highbrow, respectable. You'd think, but, and they certainly keep up appearances. I think they're participating in some questionable activities. What sort of activities? I'm not 100% certain, but based off the stuff I've seen and overheard, drug distribution is a big one. Also, whatever they use the second floor for. Hmm. Aren't drugs a bit risky? Could get the th whole thing shut down. Considering who owns the place, they're probably safe. And I imagine if any authorities stirred up trouble, they'd have someone to throw under the bus. Who owns the place? Owners of Bloodworm. So lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Oh, sorry, Bloodworth. Bloodworth. Bloodworm. Bloodworth. Sound familiar. What's the story there? Crime family. A lot of friends in high places. Then the family head up and dies. And the shit hits the fan. Air ended up dead too in the aftermath. And the current owner of the bite is a relative? Yeah, she was a cousin or something. Where are the rumors? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. How she's got an ape for a lover, or that she was the one who got all the others killed so she could take over. Anything that holds water. People say she's taking back the whole operation piece by piece. The bite's certainly a good place to start. What's the draw? What do people do at the bite? Well, they've got good music, often live. Um, also a full restaurant besides the bar. But that's all on the first floor. What's on the second floor? No. Yeah, what's on the second floor? Not entirely certain. Maybe gambling? Sex work? Private parties? I haven't paid much attention. I gotta go, but that's some great intel, Larry. Pretty well informed. Try to keep try to keep my ear to the ground. Come back any time to pick my brain. Maybe they'll come in handy. Um, hopefully this helps me get into the bite. If I'm lucky, my target is there. Yeah, there's you headed there now? Yeah, I'll try to get in. Thanks. I really appreciate your help. See you around. Let's go talk to this girl buddy. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Me. Are you Johnny? Let's go with Howard. Howard, nice to meet you. Are you Johnny? Fitting name for a grown ass man in a trench coat. What do you need? Um, can you give me. <laughs> Don't ask for drugs first or just. Or you got me. Can you get me into the bite? Depends, why? Want that stinky shit. Heard they got in there. Um I don't know what you're talking about, man. Sniff your armpits maybe? Yeah. Good to bullshit. I know they do monkey butt. The fuck? Who told you that? Goes around. I ain't hear nothing like this. No luck I'll fart.
Kid, I know I'm being a bore, but I really need your help. Please, would you let me a hand? I really need something. What's in it for me? Um, chill. Listen, I'm a detective. My target is in there. If you help me now, I'm gonna be of use to you later. Are you serious? Prove it. Look at me. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. You think I'd ask you if I wasn't serious? A scram. Raccoon in a trench coat? All I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone in front of every he sit every night and cries himself to sleep because he's so lonely and can't get a boner so he wears this fucking excuse for an outfit hoping people would finally take him seriously the heck dude that's rough you don't even know me <laughs> no <laughs> you weird hearing that from a squirrel with so much fur gel that he literally sticks to walls don't you find shut up at least I would smell like garbage at least my mother's not slick. Wow, Jesus, these insults. Um, at least my mother isn't slick. Well, you're right. You just smell pretty nice. Too nice. To be frank, I'm jealous. You're pathetic. So you really need to get in, huh? Yes. Yes, I really do. Help me, Johnny. Ugh, old man. Okay. I'm tired of you. Let's go, then. Meet me at the entrance. Thank you. See you there. All right, after that exchange, let's go get into this fucking place. And that the fog effect's nice. The game's actually very good looking. Um this like it's a very detailed pixel art style so like it oh i walked past the club i got distracted by the fog okay let's talk to me <laughs> here's johnny hey johnny where you been Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Alright, we're in the club. I wonder if there was a way to just get in with the like with the with just the bear. I'm wondering how um extensive the like options are if, or if like that was the order it had to go in. Or like even if I had like uh, talk to Anatoly more if like I could have gotten in a different way. I mean, obviously I could have gotten through the back, I guess. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful dog ladies. A little too high end for my taste. Glenny, the lady. Colby. Audrey. Ingrid. Is that a polar bear? Um, let's just start from the left, I guess. I think this is a lady. Well, you are unusual. I'll take that as a compliment. As you will, though it was just an observation. Renee Wilson. Howard Lodor. Uh, I don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep using my real name. Oh shit, I clicked twice. You're quick. You're wit. I don't know what I'm responding to. Guess that makes us... No. Guess that makes us even. Take my card. That's like each lyrics. Good music. Guess that makes us even. Take my card. Investigative journalist. It's a living. Usually. Have you seen an otter gentleman here tonight? No, but I only sat down a minute ago. 
got it. It was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. Goodbye. Um, I wish I feel like I fucked that up. Maybe there was nothing there, but like, it's like I misclicked. Talk to Colby, I guess. Um, hey there. You here for Eden Simmons show too? I'm so happy to see her live finally. Um, I haven't heard of her before. That's a nice sound though. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. Sound like a big fan. I, I got a record player just for her. It may seem a bit extravagant, but definitely worth the investment. It's mostly all I listen to. But it's the first time you're catching her live? Uh, yeah. Uh, my mom doesn't approve of the place. Did you do a bit of sneaking in here tonight? Mm, uh, how come, if you don't mind me asking? Eh, I, I don't think she's stepped in a bar in her life. This place is about ten times sleazier in her head. Sounds like it was worth it. Good music. Ah. Well, you can only be sure if you stay for the whole show. Uh, wish I could. Say, have you seen an otter gentleman tonight? Here's his photo. I think I saw him walk in earlier tonight. Did you see where he went? I saw him come in and talk to the Afghan lady in the great colored dress. Presumably they mean an Afghan dog here, but it'll be confusing to somebody know that somebody who didn't know that Afghans are dogs as well. Um, was his hat green? Oh yes. And so was his tie. I thought that was funny. Did he have a briefcase with him? I'm not sure. I can't say. Or, er, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Thanks. And enjoy the show. Alright. Cool, Kobe. Colby. Colby. Thanks, Colby. Um, let's talk to Audrey. I'm, I'm curious if it's going to just, like, loop the song again. Or if it's going to play a different one. Like, how many songs are for this one nightclub. I think this is different. Isn't this too dreamy? Well, you sure are. God, I love this music. Um, what? This lady seems. Hi. Um, wanna dance with me? Hmm? Sorry, no. Uh, can you answer a couple questions for me? Not really. Leave me alone, okay? Sorry to bother you. Have a pleasant evening. Hmm. See, like, I wonder if you could get more out of that, maybe. I think I f I'm terrible with dog breeds. I think that's the Afghan. So why don't we talk to Clarissa first? You look a little lost. That obvious. Like he's sitting at the bar. I should click. That might be a bit better. Um, just so I don't miss miss a thing. I've been using the numpad, or not the numpad, but the keyboard. I wouldn't have bothered pointing it out otherwise. Uh, you, on the other hand, seem right at home. Practically, I am. Isn't that right, boy? You a regular here? I should... Formally introduce myself. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Uh, I must say you've got great ambience and love of music. Thanks. I quite strive to offer high quality entertainment at the bite. So to whom do I owe the pleasure? Um James Wallace. Pleasure is mine, Wallace. What do you do? Nothing specific. Quick gigs here and there. Man of fluid nature, I see. How can I help you, Wallace? Say, do you have any leisure tips for a guy like me? I could arrange a boy here. Presumably the bartender. To mix something up for you? Some folks say that food from our chef is to die for. Or just relax and enjoy the show. Eden's voices. What brought you here in the first place? 
I'm actually here to meet up with a friend. Is that right? Wouldn't lie to you. Mm-hmm. Who's your friend? If he was here tonight, I would have seen him. Goes by Jeremy. Last name Green. Otter. Why are you meeting Jeremy at the bar tonight? We have a lot to talk about. You're lying to me. All right, geez, I'll just remember the stage then. Mr. Wallace, if that's your real name, you're doing a terrible job being coy. It's in bad taste for the life of me. I have to ask. Better stay. Oh, fuck. Ah, I fucked it up. I shouldn't have talked to her. Hmm. Now do I have to go in the back? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go in through the back, I think, now. Oh, oh, <clears throat> what was this voice? Oh, Howard, how'd you manage that? Doesn't matter. They use the back door for deliveries, right? Now, hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. And you told me you had no first hand experience with monkey butt. People don't change, Larry. I've been I've been doing the nicer options. I'm gonna do three, I think. Larry, what if it's the case? Something is wrong and I need to find out. Jeez. I recommend against it, but if you do but you do you. So, any other ways in? Alright, alright. Back door is used for deliveries and this truck right here just arrived. Sometimes I hear voices coming from the roof. They must have a rooftop door. Tell me about the rooftop. Well, most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you going to get to the roof? Wipe security? Or fire escape? You could give me a lift. No, there's no fire escape. If I is too high, are there any small structures you can fly to? You can climb first. The press stand! Oh, I don't know why he's like yelling. <laughs> the press stand! Whoa there! That could work. You could start with it, then go to Mackenzie and proceed along the roofs. But you should know that Bo is kind of a. Um, uh, um, Dick Nugget? It's the most, it's the most accurate description of Bo I've ever heard in my life. Dick Nugget, nice, I like it. You're welcome. Anyway, I suggest talk, I suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up for to it. Um, tell me about the back door. They have a little intercom box, so you ring, they pick up, and then if you're someone they're waiting for, they buzz you in. Any clue on how I could become the one they're waiting for? I have no idea. Maybe they use some sort of code? You're the detective, not me. Thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. Florence. Florence the bunny. Nothing, just wondering why you're here, that's all. Oh, she said. What are you looking at? Out here for a smoke? Why do you care? You're not... You're not holding a cigarette. I'm finished with it, alright? Just get lost. Just mind your own. You work at the bite? Piss off. I'm gonna game your plan now. I told you. I'm not leaving until I get her back. Get who back? Are you looking for someone? Heh. <laughs> right. Make it like you don't know, not fooling me. No, sir, I'm on to you, and I'm not moving from this spot till you give me a talk to my daughter. Are you looking for your daughter? I'm no fool. You know she's in there. You don't want to talk to me. No, that's not. They won't let me see her. She had to bite. Keep an eye out for her if I manage to get in. You're not one of them thugs. No, ma'am. Private Detective Howard Lodor. 
Nice to meet. Nice meeting you. The detective? I, I don't understand. Just a quick question. Did you see someone go through that door? I, uh, two guys? Cider truck drivers? Why? Need to find a way into that building. Can you help me? Maybe. I mean, not really. Tried the code at the door, but filthy slugs won't let me in. Just want to talk to her. What happened to your daughter? She's in that filthy. I've been coming for days, but they say they won't let me talk to her. I'm her mother, damn it. What's she doing in there? Kid decides she's gonna make it all on her own. Lands herself in a whorehouse. Stupid. They're drugging her, I know it. Don't let me see her. Mother. The poor baby. I'll keep an eye out for her if she if I get in. What she look like? Ray Fur? Name's Rosie? No, name's Rose. Drives her nuts when I call her Rosie. Just turned 20, you see. You don't want to be a kid anymore. Oh, if they heard a single whisker on my baby's face, I swear I'm going to burn this ditch to the ground. I like this. I like Florence. I'm digging you. Um, I'll do my best to find her. Thank you. I'll tell her I'm waiting out here. They haven't told her, I'm sure. You said you tried the code to the intercom? I memorized it word for word. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. You know any other way in? No, I've heard voices on the roof, but how'd you get up there? All right, thanks for helping me out. I better go look for a way in then. Please, if you see my daughter, just tell her I need to see her. Please. Take care. Man, this is shitty. Where? Mm. Where have you been? We expected you two hours ago. Great fire, damn me, and looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. Is this a prank? Get out. I guess that was wrong. Um. Sorry, ready to load. Hmm. Oh, the door's open. Well, why would I break in if the door's open? Here. The interior is filled with cardboard. I just entered a truck. Um, the delivery truck. The interior is filled with cardboard boxes and smells like rust. There's a weird looking recording device on the dashboard. The compartment seems to be unlocked. Um, open the compartment. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspapers and documents that look like invoices or checks. Um, look at the invoices. They all mention a company called Starling Cider Limited purchasing unnamed good from Bite Foods LLC. The most recent purchase is supposed to be having a day. Uh, look at the newspapers. Two newspapers for t September and October. They don't look like anyone was reading through them. Read the headlines. Epidemic continues to afflict Fustdale. Geese may be spreading disease. Hmm. Vicious attack at the wall. The wall. Vicious attack at the wall leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Look at the invoices. Oh, I already did that. Are the device? It's a voice recording device hardwired into a truck dashboard, probably set for surveillance. There are several tapes that you can insert and listen to. Recording. Select today's tape. You insert today's tape. Last recorded conversation is a male talking to someone on the intercom. Um, where have you been? We expected you one hour ago. Great fire, damn me. I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. Huh. Like tapes with dates from invoices and newspapers. Where have you been? We expected you two hours ago. I can't continue working like this. Stanley lost the keys again. You're late. Buy packages ready to pick up. Freeze all I can fit in the truck. Um, oh, so there doesn't seem to be any like. Co pattern. Maybe board is then. Let me in. No. All right. Well, 
let's not mess with that. Let's just try the roof, I guess. I, I probably missed something. All right, let's talk to Bo. Hey, Bo, I was wondering, I was hoping you'd help me out. I don't know. I'm quite busy. Won't take a minute, I just need to climb the stand. Absolutely not. Not much time and effort it takes to keep a stand in good condition. And we'll be fine. What could I offer? What if I could offer something in return? Now that you mention it, maybe you could help out with a little issue I've been having. I'm almost afraid to ask. But what do you have in mind? You see the hawker over by McKenzie's? Oh, I'm off Granville. Wait. Who? The Pico with the cart. Just a kid, why is it a problem? It really gets on your nerve, huh? Look at it from my point of view. I have to register a seller's permit and pay allowance. Walk a thin line between making a profit and saying prices people actually buy at. Yeah. Well, here comes this rodent who doesn't have to worry about allowances, rent, or utilities. He undercuts my prices by a ridiculous amount and ends up stealing my business. Are you sure he's evading this allowance, though? There's no way somebody who allows properly can. There's no way someone who allows properly can make a profit off those prices. Oh, like who allows this? That's like a. Okay, that's just a weird thing. Who allows probably? Um, what do you want me to do about it? I want that damn rodent off Granville? Take care of that? It's not really what I do, Bo. All I'm saying is, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. What's fair? I mean, I'll do it. Where's this fucking kid with the car? This guy. Sid. Little peckish. Ah, sweet and savory. You can mix and match. I'll make your own trail mix. How about it? A strange favor to ask. Uh, okay. Got places other than Granville you chaps shop, right? Need you roll on somewhere else. What? Listen, do you have a seller's permit? Do you wanna know if you're not a cop? Just saying allowance evasion is a pretty serious crime. Do as I ask it. What? Leave? I'm not gonna up and leave just cause you just said Granville's is a great sell spot. I don't wanna get you in trouble, kid, but I will if I have to. What should you find here anyways? None of your business. I'll move on. Don't want you gone. Who's all Sasha got to do with anything? It's none of your business. I'll move on. I. Whatever, man. I have to fall off five stairs or something. Uh. I wonder if there was a better way to handle that. Like, ah, I feel like this game could. I And this is only the demo, too. Like, I'm wondering what the full game's gonna look like. He agreed to stay off Grenfell for a while. I scare him off. Don't think he'll be back here for a while. Did you do it? I just asked him to help and agreed. Good kid. Get him off Granville. I did as you ask. I'll go on, do whatever you want. Come on if I do. How do I Oh. How long this demo is. I've already been going for like an hour. I'm the king of the world. Take it, Foxy Burger. It's interesting how all of these buildings seem to be, oh, my mouse cursor, but they seem to be very much like covered in vegetation. Wow, that's a view. there's like so on the seat store it said rpg specifically and like i mean this has been like a, a adventure or stuff but the, i don't know if maybe there's like a fighting mechanic or something that we're gonna get to wish i could just stay here like pigeons would accept me as one of their own so i think this is it phew i think that's it green bastard whatever right there Keep 
Parsley Brew, also known as Anti-Baby Potion. Yep. Bites definitely a brothel. Should be by second floor. Is that room for girls? Maybe I'll find something useful to loot green or some sort of evidence. Inspect mirror table. Taking time off, Rose. Give me a call. Miss you. Magazines. Rose, it's like a box. A present box. Anything else? Guess not. Those mags and mirrors. Seems Odette had the right hunch. and don't see you behind dark objects. So if I'm like here. further and I'm there. Shit, I missed him. He's been here, I can smell the monkey butt. <laughs> Maybe he left something behind the Cadalpo debt. Painting. Green type stuck behind the frame with much what the? A secret lift? Green went in there. I wonder what's on the other side. Green's hat. This must be the monkey butt. To be honest, I kind of imagine something nastier than herbs, but oh boy, it stinks. Might as well take a shot, get in there and press a button. Find the guy or maybe something more exciting. The club's definitely hiding something. If this is the case of my life, here we go. Fuck's this place? What are they burning here? Clothes? What the fuck? What the fuck indeed? Scissors. Kind of, oh, he said. A pair of Dell scissors could still be useful though. Like they're killing people and then cutting their clothes and burning them. Freezer. Green wanted an ice cream and it went through the secret pain to get it? Doesn't make sense. Gotta keep digging. Board. Inventory delivery schedule. What's this? Greg, if you're gonna swipe stuff for the girls, you need to make a note or mess up or you mess up the inventory. Took honey. Honey. Intercom. So intercom connects to the rooms of the building is a list of extensions nearby. Bar, freezer, kitchen, packaging. Style freezer. The same intercom you're using. Style packaging. Nobody picks up. Uh, kitchen. Kitchen listening. Um, hang up. Style bar. Boy speaking. Hey boy. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm stuck in the freezer again. Fucking hell, Greg. So don't, don't call the thing. Where's it going to sit? Okay, it's just right here again. So I guess I'm going to go through here. Always wondered when I'd end up in a place like this. yippee ki -yay.
like a oh maybe I'm supposed to call so I need a call um, to get that guy out yeah and then and then do it because that way the other guy will move so then if I I used to make sure now that guy will go over. Maybe not. I think I do need to use him. Phew, that was close. Looks like a locker room for staff. I'm signing my otter. Back locker. Family favorite, Apes Delight. This is in Rising Star. Andrew West pushes trailers to final VS Starlings. A wall is an embrace. First sets the mind at ease and keeps the city safe. Weird, like, totalitarian stuff going on. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers in your locker? Maybe you. Greg, keep turnkey downstairs by your station. Nice. Thanks for being a doofus, Greg. There was nothing I could take from there, right? Oh, I could move. Square circle thing thing. I feel like there's some way to arrange this. So if I close and go back in. Okay. There's a bunch of these things. Like I'm supposed to, like I'm supposed to Put them on here somehow to like get numbers. That fucking. For them to go to the beast since passcode block. There's a freight lift here, but it needs a turnkey, which I don't have. I'm gonna find the passcode somehow. Presumably, it's through this thing. I just don't. Terrible at puzzles. That's a one. All of these have numbers. There's got to be like some sort of thing here.
either. Okay, pause. Okay, well. Four digit code. That's like they. they <laughs> game devs. Look at this sound bug, it's infuriating. This doesn't have any numbers. I feel like that can just get stunted. Anything with this. It doesn't have any numbers, but it does have two things. Oh, there's gotta be some like Way to layer these or what? I wish the game would give me more of a hint here. The square, like square circle thing thing. Hmm. It's one three five. There's gotta be a way. Oh, maybe. Okay, so each thing corresponds to one, is what it is. So, like. So it's um, a bit. So it's one four five zero or some combination thereof. Thank you. 
four, five. There's like still a billion options. I must I must be missing Go back and look. This plus. Oh, I bet you it's maybe the letters. Something like that. They each have two things, right? Oh, I see, I see. So they each have a sh Okay, I get it now. Good puzzle. I take that back. It took me a while. But I got it. If I got it, that means anything. Okay, so it goes... Square... So it goes zero... Circle... Um... Four... Five one zero four five one. Yeah, got it. Yeah, guys. Puzzle solved. Puzzles. Um. Okay, now we're like in this dark area. On the left. Chest. Furnace. Maybe. And click on. Lights. Oh my fucking what? This is a morgue? Ugh. Green! He's dead! Fuck! What you've gotten yourself into? Somebody's coming quick, I have to hide. <laughs> coming into the trash can. Cutting people up? Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Ugh. Okay, I'm coming. Are you serving dead people? Ugh. Escape. Oh, God. So, turn key. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Packages. Oh fuck! What do you say? Oh. Damn it! Quick. Green's gonna get butchered for food. They're eating people. Howard, run now! Yep, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's a uh, perfect response there, buddy. Backbone. That was fun. That was
click egg dot. I'm, I'm interested in playing the full thing now. For sure. Yeah, so demo prologue. This was free on Steam, by the way. So if, if you want to check it out, um, the, like what options I missed yourself. Uh, I'm guessing the makers are Russian or Ukrainian. Nikita Danchin, Alexandra Krabelnikova, Yadoshkeva, Nikita Danchin, Nikita Danchin, Aiden Shade, Bella Ord, Elena Gurskaya, Natalia Dushevskaya, yeah. Shevskaya, Kalepinin. Or Bilnikov, Carlos. I'm, gu I'm guessing the writer uh, is. The, I think I think it said the writer was Carlos something. Oh, this game got kickstarted. Oh, okay, I missed that. George the Wheel Wheeler. Gildarius Eldaris del Kadamechik. What the fuck's this guy's name? Can I skip this. It doesn't look like it. Uh, well, I'll just let the credits roll. Uh, yeah, great art style, great music. Um, I'm not the biggest point and click guy, but it wasn't the one puzzle in there wasn't too bad, and it wasn't like a um, oh, I forget the word. Um, the there's like a, a term for like point and click puzzles that are like um. You have to understand the logic of the uh, otherwise they don't like you don't get that logic you can't arrive at the same conclusion um the one puzzle in there was like it was obvious it was pretty obvious that there was a puzzle um i had a limited number of things i could do i could move around the pictures and uh obviously like i think it w was made pretty obvious that like you need to do something with these ones that are blank and have holes in them. Like, I think that became pretty clear pretty quickly. I think it wasn't obvious to move them right away that, that I had to kind of figure out. I think that's the hardest part about it. But, and then once I got there, um, I think it probably took me longer than some people to realize, some people, than some people would to realize that um, they have matching sizes. Um, match, like, the, the, Cards, certain. Googling the, the term to see if I can find it. Yeah, Unreal Engine, I think that. But yeah, great. Um, so that's going to do it for the stream today. I just wanted to play this really quickly. Um, just to kind of check it out. I, I had, Like I said, I had played the first few minutes and been like... Um, like, oh, this would be fun to like voice out loud to stream. I decided to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna try to stream more. I've been, I keep telling myself that. I kind of want to stream more games, but uh, I think the games that I've been playing lately are not <laughs> that that streamable, or at least I'm not. I don't think I'm that interesting when I'm playing them. Uh, but this one I think was good for that, so I'm gonna try to do more stuff like this if I can find stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's that's gonna do it for the stream. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did stick around and listen to it, um, have a good one. See you guys later.